Let's see how you do under pressure, oh Yeah, I've been wanted this shit forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better Okay, hey. yeah. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy Extra, extra What's happening guys, this is Lucy Polgar from Fight Division here with Naomi Ridley with the beautiful belt around your waist looking so, so sick. You must be buzzing with that performance, you look very comfortable in there, me and Lisa was watching ringside, your boxing was incredible, are you happy with the performance? Absolutely buzzing, like, you have no idea what goes on in there though, it is like a whirlwind yeah. and she did not stop coming forward. Yeah, yeah. Same thing when she fought Neve, she just does not stop coming forward but I thought if I hit her hard enough with a few punches she might slow down a little bit but she did but she caught me with some nice elbows yep. she chipped away at my legs but i just thought fuck it it's my night my night i'm going for it no matter what no way with that belt going back to france no <laughs> way i love it do you know what you've already beat me to my next question i was going to bring neve kinnahan up because obviously she's already fought kiro and she won as well and now you've just won is there a matchup potentially there in the future for you and neve yeah, i'd love to i think neve's one of the most talented lasses in the uk and worldwide, like she's she's led the way for, for British Thai boxing for a long, long time. And I think it'd be a nice domestic fight to have. I think it'd be a good clash. You don't get many good female domestic fights other than like Daniela and Becky. There's not that many good female domestic fights. You get a lot of male yeah. domestic fights, but not for us females. So it's the one we want to see. Yeah, if Neve would like to dance, I'd love the opportunity. She's a brilliant talent. Absolutely, absolutely, we love Neve. I would love to see that, absolutely. Um, so talk to us then a little bit about the fight tonight. So you looked very, like, it looked like a comfortable win, it looked confident. Did you feel like that in there? I know it's a whirlwind when you're in and you can't really sort of remember the specific shots, but in general, did you feel like you was winning in there? Did it feel comfortable as it looked? I only know that I'm doing right when I get back to my corner and Richard <laughs> and Badger don't tell me off. If, I, if I'm on their good side, I'm all right, but... When I'm in there, it's, it's so fast paced. You don't really know what's scoring, what's looking right. But every time I got to the corner, I got a nod off Richard that he just wanted a little bit more of this and a little bit more of that. Badger just said he wanted a few more body kicks. But I think my boxing's too stra strong for most people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I box 80 kilo guys in the gym constantly and I clinch big guys. So boxing and clinching is my thing. Yeah. 100%. So me and Lisa, like I say, we watch the ringside, and that was the thing that Lisa was most commenting on, that your boxing was just absolutely on point. Um, one thing I did notice, so you said it's a bit of a blur in there, um, but you did, you were really good at listening to the corner. So I heard Richard say a few times, like, step to the right, throw the left hook, and like everything he said, within five or ten seconds, you've thrown it. So so you must be able to still register what's happening in the corner. Yeah, yeah, I, I, can, I can hear my corner, and I listen to him well, because they've got the best interest in for me, but... For me, landing shots, you, I, I don't know what's... I can feel myself growing in a fight, but you don't know if you've won every round. I were only like round two or round three in, and there's still another two. Like, she could come out with some crazy shit, but I felt comfortable. When I'm, when I'm fighting a female that's my weight, and we're both weighed in the same, I feel pretty settled. Yeah. I have to spar some Because you're the big guys. Yeah, I have to spar some big men at Bad Company, and I get... I get put in my place, but I also give them an hard time. So when I get put against a girl or a female, my weight, my size, it's a good night for me. Yeah, it's a fun yeah. night. I just need I need to get more confidence so I start going forward more now. So you start pushing the energy a little bit, a little bit more aggression with it. Like when I fought Martina, I had I only had four weeks to prepare for her because I. I had a root canal done and some other shit happened. So I had four weeks to get ready for that. So I was quite slow paced. And I know Vinny on the commentary was like, she needs to get going, she needs to get going. So I thought in this fight, I, I had slowing down. I trained my ass off since November. I was meant to fight on the November show, but I couldn't yeah. get an opponent. And I just was like, I am I going to go slowly. I'm going to go from round one to round five. I'm coming here to prove a point. Can we just yeah. talk as well, obviously, the last show when, uh, or the last time I interviewed you, you literally called this out. So we were just talking off camera then. You literally manifested this. You said, give us give us the weight category and, and we're good to go. And then they re-tagged it and they shared it everywhere. And now here we are. Like That must feel pretty incredible that you literally spoke this into existence. To be, to be the first person, well, the first female in the world to own or to, to represent the yes. WMO. The, the highest weight category was 61 kilo, obviously, which is what Neve and Kiro both fought at last yeah. time. And I was like, I think me and Martina was meant to fight for a European title, but 
they didn't even exist, so we couldn't fight for it. So I thought, if I win this fight, I'm going to call them out, and I did. And then we're fucking here. And here it is. That is so. Like I love stuff like that. Like that. That is just so so cool. Daniela's really into all that sort of stuff yeah, as well. We were just talking about Daniela again off camera, saying if you could bottle her energy and sell it, we'd all be rich. So that's another thing like that she's really good at is like speaking into existence, and you literally have done that. Because this has gone so well, you literally spoke into existence what you want, and here you are now with the strap. What's next for you then? What are we speaking into existence next? What are we feeling? Anybody. I think there's a few talks about me maybe going over to Australia for WBC fights. If Neve wants to fight, anyone. There's, there's, there's a few girls that are the, the top of the, the game. I'll fight anyone, anywhere, any country. I'm, I'm game. Do you know what, does that attitude come from bad company as well? Because anyone I speak to a bad company, I'm like, who do you want? And they literally, no hesitation, like anyone. And it's just like instinctive in you. I think because we spar so many people, so many heights, so many variations, so many skills. You've got Liam and Andy that have led the way, Badger. They fight anyone, any time of day, anywhere. So we'll go with anywhere. So anyway, sky's the limit, sky's the limit. Listen, I'll let you get back to your night. Just before I got you on interview, I saw you, you had a, a pint and a cake. <laughs> so like, what is your, I've spoken I've to you about this before. I'm always dead curious to know like, the li it's there, I can see him. <laughs> let's get him, let's get him. Get him on camera, Instagram versus reality. This is what the night's really about, the pint and the cake. So you said you've got a massive sweet tooth. So if someone's brought you this tonight, it's like a well done, like it preempts in the way. But some of my friends bought me this. I've got six cupcakes in the back. Are they, I saw them, are they yours? A security guard came through into the changing room and was like, Naomi, Naomi. I was like, that's me. Cakes are. Just give me cakes. Liam's eight and a half of them. So I, I've got a sweet tooth. I like good food though, anything. Anything. And do you know what? It's absolutely well earned. So thank you so much for trying to us. I'd love to see that fight with Eve. If we can get that going, 100% less. But I'm sure whatever you take on next, we'll absolutely smash it. Thanks so much for trying to us. Let's see how you do under pressure. Oh, yeah, I've been wanted this forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me. Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better. Okay, hey, yeah, ain't no errors, baby. It's a new era. I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha. I get to the paper, boy. Extra, extra.